Hey guys, Kev here. Um, today I wanted to talk about the Boom 808 percussion synth. Uh, I've been begging, begging, begging for an 808 emulation in Reason. Actually, I've been begging for Rebirth in Reason since the inception of Rack Extensions. We have the AVL um, module, which is um, 303 emulation. It came out with launch. And now we have this um, percussion sense 808 emulation. No um, step sequencer, which I know a lot of people don't like. I can wire up the redrum with it. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. Flip it around. You see you have your gate in, your, um, vo your volume CV ins, your pan in. So you can actually make this work with the redrum. Wire it and back the same way you would um, when you would use a Kong with um, with step sequencer. When people had um, an issue with that a few years ago, I will actually point you over to a, this um, video to my right, and that'll get um, that's a tutorial that I did a couple years back on wiring the redrum with Kong, and that'll get you through the same process for this center or for the synthesizer right here. What I wanted to talk about though, this thing sounds great to me. Um, I think it's one of the few, um, 808 instruments that I really, really like. Um, I really like they got the rap sounds right because a lot of different people don't get it right. Then I realized Double Eight, um, a hip hop producer in the Reason community did the patches, so it makes sense. He understands the sound. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the stock patches, or I'm going to go through the stock sound. All of the channels, or 16 channels, are all about the same. You have your volume, your pan, tuning, decay, tone, which is like a filter. And this is cool because you have it on your um, bass channel. You have bass only, so if you wanted to do um, pitched eight, um, 808 kicks, or you can do all drums. I really like that. You can go into mo poly mode or mono mode, give your uh, master volume, analogify so you can uh, make it sound a little more analog if that's what you need. Um, the snare has a snappy has a snappy knob, which is kind of cool. So you hear that snare now. And then if I turn it up, it makes it snappier. Or if I turn to left, it gets a little more dull. And you still have the same tune or the tone knob. And then everything else is really about the same stuff. Again, your volume pan tuning decay, volume pan tuning decay on everything else, and. I play, I'm just going to play it for my keyboard. Here you go. Here's some dip, um, just the various sounds here. Your kick. Of course, I could turn the decay up. So I can get that long 808 kick. Right. Or, of course, I could scale it back. And just get a you know really some small kick. Same with the snare. If I want to get a little more noise in there, I can do that too. I want to filter out some of the sound. And I can do that as well. I really like how they handle this clap. And again, if you want to make it decay out a little more. It sounds like there's a little bit of reverb in here too. I've never used a real 808. So, I don't know. My experience with 808s has generally been with samples. A maraca. Cymbals. Open hi-hat and closed hi-hats. And then I'm going to go to the trap kit because like I said, he got it right. And you can't hear that sub bass as much, at least I can on my speakers. I'm using the Rocket 5s. Now, I like how beefy this kick is. I personally would tuned it up a little bit for my taste. This is a little closer to the Trap 808 sound that I'd be looking for. But again, he, he got the sound right. Um, there's also some other kits in here that I really liked. Uh, there was a, a house kit that I really, really liked. Where's the house kit? 
Here is New Maps. I really like this one. So for me, this is almost like a no-brainer kind of scent. You know, it's really easy to use. It's your classic hip-hop patches. So for me, for me, it's an it's kind of a no-brainer. Now the only thing I'm thinking is, well, I have F Expansion's trimmer, which is a lot more flexible, has its own step sequencer. I don't really use step sequencing. But it's more of a drum synth, so I can make any kind of drum synth sound I want. And this is just an 808. I could probably remake these sounds on Trimmer, so I'm really on the fence about it. But I love, love, love this instrument. Um, it's 59 bucks in the Rack Extension Store. I take this over a drum sample library or 808 sample library any day. Um, just because it's so flexible, you can flip it around. You can route your own effects in there, and you can really get the sound and tone that you want. Um, as opposed to using a sample, you have to go through, find the right samples. And to me, this is just a whole lot faster. So, and it's a lot cleaner because you don't have to keep up with all those samples. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, tell me what you guys think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time and check out KevWestBeats.com. Thanks for watching.